So let's talk about a strategy for engaging influencers. If you do a Google search on how to get more followers, you get millions of results. Today's social media is empowering people and businesses in ways and levels that never before were imagined. New social media tools and titans are daily redefining how marketers influence their audiences, both through the size of their tribes and the strength of their persuasion. So today, a Twitter account, a YouTube channel, a blog, an Instagram, and a LinkedIn account gives you a global voice, and it's an important voice that offers you a chance to build a social and strategic buzz around your content, to be an influencer and build a ravenous audience. There's a way to get more followers and to run a social hangout in HOA, a hangout on air in Google+, or rock your Twitter and give your YouTube channel some pizzazz or your LinkedIn platform some added credibility by learning to leverage the voice of other influencers and their tribes. So network and social influencers are often people with thousands or sometimes tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of followers, and 70% of those influencers create and share their content daily. When influencers share, they see three things as the biggest value to their audience. The first being most value, their relationship with the personal brand or service. That's the first. Second, they value their tribe's ability to easily and reliably digest brand information. And third, they value the level of interest and the entertainment value that the product or service has for their tribe. So a couple of interesting facts is that 60% of the fans read their influencers' content every single day. And overall, the tribe's members tend to be about 65% female and 35% male. Another interesting point I notice is that an influencer's personal profile, their personal profile isn't necessarily the same or even similar to the demographics of their tribe, but their content is still always interesting, informative, and entertaining. Year by year now, these influencers are playing an ever-increasing role in driving eyeballs and determining their consumer sentiment behavior. So a successful social influencer has the potential to shape the awareness, the actions, the purchasing decisions of their tribe in ways that traditional brand marketing just couldn't do. Even a couple of years ago, influencers now are seen as an objective source of advice and information. This is evolving as the tribe's voice now starts to go viral, and it often becomes a part of a brand's most profitable relationship. And that means that the tribe itself often becomes a viral extension of the recommendations, endorsing a brand, creating an actionable advocacy, advocacy group, shaping purchasing decisions, and sharing their trust and product insights. There's no secret that the power of social influences is its own currency. So to be assimilated with the influencer's tribe, you need an individualized plan developed to maximize interaction around each influencer, and this is important. You shouldn't be using a one-size-fits-all approach to work with different influencers in their audience. Two of the services that I use to seek out the most effective influencers are Clout, that's K-L-O-U-T, and Peer Index. Today, Successful influencer brand tribe relationships are most often cultivated with some form of material or financial incentive like money or commissions and free merchandise, but there's also an intrinsic incentive included when you share your relevant dialogue over time and that nurtures and cultivates the influencer loyalty and your tribe assimilation. So after talking and working with hundreds of influencers, thousands of fans, here are five key ingredients that I've learned for cultivating relationships today with influencers. I call them the five E's. The first is extension, then exercise, emphasis, entanglement, and entourage. So first, extension. And extension is knowing the depth of the reach of the influencer and their audience. They a brand advocates and as advocates they have an authority and a conversation with their sharers it's personal they build customers and potential customers and they tend to be early adopters second exercise means your relevant persistent viral participation with the tribe think of it kind of like your gym membership with a fitness goal being to know to like and to trust so exercise third Emphasis. An emphasis means that you know the inflections, the subtler things, the intonation, the harmony, the tonality of the influencer. That's their signature, their fingerprint of the message that they give to their, to their tribe so that their tribe knows 
more about the WIFM, the what's in it for me, and that's what motivates a tribe to be there. The fourth is entanglement, and entanglement is shared passion in the relationship, and passion means that there's a closeness, a connection, a tribe, an alliance. It's a glue that holds the tribe together. It's the why that they, that they identify with about why they're with the tribe. And lastly, entourage. Entourage is the furthering, the leverage, the drilling down, the aggregation, the collection, the flock, the party, the club. In New Orleans, we'd call it the tailgate. An entourage kind of answers the question about who else is joining in this fun or this cause. I use Feedly, F-E-D-L-Y, um, to help me drill down information and keep me informed about source content with those raving fans or those devotees or those supporters. Uh, you'll find that they've got a very active product presence on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest in their blog. So you should be looking at these five E's, extension, exercise, emphasis, entanglement, entourage, to level, leverage your reach and accompany these fans. Work at converting these influencers and their fans into advocates and you do that by building connections within their networks and you give them value and then you value their feedback and as you share and identify together you convert these online relationships into an engaged advocate so thanks for joining me to look at how to leverage working with influencers i'm dr gary arnold have a great day